Hey yo, what's up guys? You've got Lightning here, back at you with another video. This time we're actually doing a live game commentary. This is on my main account. Uh, we're in Platinum Elo. Um, I'm trying the live game commentary thing. I am not really experienced with it um, because I, like I said in my last video, I keep losing focus and I can't really, I can't really play and talk at the same time uh, as well as, well, especially when I'm trying to win a game. Like I just can't focus properly. So I'm giving another go. We'll see how we go. I noticed their team, our team is full AD. Uh, for the most part anyway um, but then when I look at their team I see the Trinomir has the Ignite and so does Diana um, so my plan for this game if we don't win early is just gonna be to go for a, like a split push build and hope for, and just I just all I want to do is win the 1v1 versus Trinomir because I imagine he's just gonna try and um, <clears throat> go for the 1v1 uh, with the Ignite and try and snowball the lane so <clears throat> All I'm going to do is go for a split push type build and try and snowball from there and hopefully my team can push and we'll have the teleport advantage the whole time. I'm going to start E because my E level 1 is quite important. It looks like he's just conceding the lane, let me push him in. I'm not going to try and push hard, I'm just going to try and let the lane push on its own. I don't want to push him in too hard because I don't really want to... Uh, bring too much attention to myself. I don't really want the uh, jungler coming top, especially when uh, Trinomir has Ignite. Um, so I'm just going to let the lane play out right now, uh, just, for, just for the meantime. At least till sort of level... Oh, I should have missed CS. At least till level uh, 3. He's got the Storm Raiders going. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, oh, I died anyway. Okay. Okay, I'll just flash and ignite. Uh, level 2 is a really bad time to fight him. Uh, it was probably a really bad decision by me. But um, what that did was give me the, uh, the ability to TP back to lane. And then he's got to walk back to lane. So now I get the free level 3, and he's sitting on 2 CS. So he would have backed and maybe got a longsword or a dagger. Whereas I get, I just bought a Doran's, um, just to sort of give me the win on the lane. I want to quickly ward just in case the jungler comes before Trinomir gets here. So, with that being said, uh, the lane's pushing to me, so Trinomir is losing all of this. This is the one reason why, if I, if you're a Trinomir player, uh, why I would not take Ignite on Trinomir. Um, <clears throat> it was really risky for me though. I should, I don't think I should have fought him actually. He shouldn't be fighting me right now. we go just to use my um the last little bit of my um w with the with the blade surge onto him and what i want to do now is just i want to try and deny him fury if i can right so got my q up uh the lane's gonna push into him unfortunately oh, i missed that cs and that one nice okay i'm just gonna get that push i've got my uh bush watered so i'm not too scared of jungler ganks as long as I can deny him fury, we're a puzzle. Shit. Ah. Uh. Yeah, okay. That's fine. See, the right, the lanes, I think, I'm pretty sure it's pushing out to him, and Jax is going to leave it. So it's going to push into his tower, and I think I got, I didn't see the Jax coming from, I think he came from here. Or did he come around here? I don't know. I probably should have been paying attention, but I didn't, so that's that's totally on me. And the lane, unfortunately, looks like it's going to freeze right here for him. That's that's really bad for me, because I'm going to lose all this. He's going to get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 minions, and I'm going to lose all that. So, I'm um, saying that he's only got 3 CS to my 25, so... He's only got 3 CS? Oh, that's okay. Um, it still puts me ahead. I'm still almost level four, 5, and he's only level 3, so... I'll just walk back to lane. I'm going to go for my Phage first since I'm ahead. And I'm going to get Ninja Tabi. I'll see how the lane plays out, but I don't want to really face him with his Ignite. So I might have to get a Ninja Tabi before my Triforce. What I want to do now is push this right in. I'm sure that Jax is. What the fuck? I thought the Jax was here. I'm going to ward quickly. The lane's pushing to me. Why would he fight me? What the fuck? 
He can't win a fight on me yet. The lane's pushing to me, so I'm going to try and deny him all the creeps. If I can help it. Uh, he's going to get... He's going to be able to get these, but... If I can get into a position where I can deny him anything, I will. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. I'm still taking aggro. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the lane here because right now it's pushing hard into me right now. Okay. So I'm going to leave it here. Walk back to lane with this. And he's going to miss all that. Hopefully this wave catches uh, that wave uh, before it hits my tower. It looks like it will. So... I'm going to deny him all of this. I lost a cannon minion. Uh, maybe I should have got the cannon minion. But, um, yeah, because it's pushing quite hard. So I could have left the cannon minion, or got the cannon minion, rather. And then, um, I could, yeah, I could have got the cannon minion and then maybe two more minions and then let it push in. That way I would have had a stronger back. Could have got boots without waiting for anything. But this is going to push into my tower, but I still get it, right? And he misses heaps. I'm level six, right? And he's, he's just hit level five. And he's got no ignite. So he's in a pretty bad spot right now. Oh shit. Okay, fucked up my Q, that's okay. So look at the CS difference, 16 to 40 now. Um, even though I haven't played this lane perfectly, he's he's really he really hasn't played it perfectly at all. He could have won that level two if he just didn't uh hit with the flash auto um and taking two tower shots, he really fucked up. I don't know where he is right now. He's probably farming a jungle camp to try and get a, uh, to try and get his, uh, an item. I'm not too sure. I don't know where the hell he is. Unless he rage quit. I have no idea. Uh, 16 CS. See, I'm just going to let this push in, uh, as it's going. And then I might be able to get back and get, uh, some armor. See, I'm level 7 to his level 5 now. Still with a 16 CS. I'm just using my Q to farm too, because I have so many minions, it's so hard to, um, uh, determine like when the minion's actually gonna die and get your auto off at that perfect time. So yeah, he's been farming the jungle camp. Oh shit, I fucked that up. He's level six now. We still Jax was bot before. I'm gonna try and pressure him off all these minions. He auto attacked me, he's gonna take aggro. Just trying to pressure him as much as I can. Didn't take a tail shot there. Just to get a little bit of damage off and pressure him. He's actually got quite a lot of CS from that jungle though. He has level 6 and I don't, I don't have ult, so I probably shouldn't be. I might uh, actually... But... I I might just try and push this out and then... Oh, uh, Jax is top. Wow, he showed himself. He could have... I mean, if he, if he came through here, I would have seen him. So he had to come through... He had to come through this this part up here. I really want to kill that ward. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to let him push me in. I don't know where he got all his CS from. He must have really farmed that jungle up or something. But that's fine. I didn't see him in mid lane or anything. Unless it was a glitch, I don't know. You don't just get 40 CS in the jungle in like 30 seconds. Ah, oh, I fucked that up. That's really bad to screw that up. Okay, at least I've got the wave freezing right here. And I've got the I've got my TP up so I can back for an item. I'm just gonna get another point in my E. He's trying to shove it in. He's trying to use a spin tactic. It's okay. I'm still winning in CS, that's the most important thing. He backed off, he didn't even get that CS. I'm probably going to TP back to lane because my bot is winning is winning lane at the moment and I don't shit and I don't really want to put uh, I, I want to win this matchup uh, because I know that uh, when it comes down to it I'm going to need a split push if I have to um, so therefore I probably won't be going the titanic hydra build I'll probably go not a bork build but maybe a um, uh, I haven't decided yet I don't think Bork would be a very good option. Uh, for the for the active and to catch up, yeah, it would be good. I'm gonna shove this in. Is he gonna fight me? 
Oh, I fucked up my Q. Oh, shit. Got that flash away. Uh, that was really bad on my part. I mean, I, I would, my plan was to shove this in and back, but then uh, Jax was top, so uh, really bad on my part. But at least Jax is top, right? So uh, I really don't want to leave the wave there, but I have to. I'm going to get my Ninja Tabis now. I'm going to go double daggers. And I'm going to TP. I'm going to TP here. I want to push this in. And if I can keep the pressure top, my bot lane's free to... Or sorry, my the rest of my team is free to snowball the bot lane and, mid, and get that, you know, secure dragon. Try and secure a um, bot tower, maybe. Yeah, get that CS. Shove it right in. Still winning by 20 in CS, so he's really good. He hasn't got an item. He's had to invest in double Dorans, double daggers, and berserker grease right now, right? So that's really good for me because it just means... It just, it just, if he's not building crit or like a bork or something, it's really good for me. I'm on my power spike of level 9 right now. Just gonna... Haha. <laughs> okay, what he did there was, um, not use his ult in time. So I just bursted him. Uh, with my th after my third, uh, ult shot, I just decided to go for the Q burst. Because I knew, I had a feeling it would kill him. Um... Uh, so I took the chance, and it worked, so... All, all in all, I think if uh, if I didn't get to burst him, I still think uh, he would have died. Um, because he wouldn't have been able to, he wouldn't have been at 100 to 0 me in, in, in his ult, in his 5 seconds, right? So, I'm going to pressure this tower as much as I can right now. Now that I'm winning the lane, I'm going to start maxing my, my Q. Uh, if I wasn't winning lane, I would just max E. So it gives me more time to get the uh, all in on him. Uh, shouldn't, that was a bad time to activate W. I want to get the tower, I'm not going to be able to get it. I don't know why he's fighting me. He has ult. I can't get the tower right now. He works getting rift healed, so I'm going to leave him getting that. And then I might just back and then go back to lane. I really want to get my sheen, but I'm not going to be able to get that. I might stay, actually no. I'm going to stay in lane so Warwick does get the rift healed. I'm going to ping the tower so Warwick hopefully comes top to get it. And I'm going to push up. I'm going to push this so Warwick can come top with the Rift Healed. Jax is bot. Diana. Shit. I'm coming. Okay, we got, we got that. We want to get the top tower. Uh, bot lane still needs quite a bit to get their tower. Just push pressuring him. He doesn't have ult, so oh shit, Diana's top. We just get out, just get out. Okay, she's got no Q. Just get out. I have to go, sorry bud. He has ult. I don't think she can kill me, but I don't think I can kill her. Dude, no no, please, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Oh, what? That's not even worth, man. <laughs> oh, whatever. I have to back. Uh, I only have 30 uh, mana, bro. Just help me shove this. Okay, I got that. That was lucky. Alright. <laughs> Uh, Jax, Jax is here. See, this Warwick, oh, I don't know, man, like, I don't know, I guess he's strong or whatever, I don't know, but, <laughs> uh, that's questionable. Uh, I'm just gonna ping that I'm going mid. Now, I don't know, I don't know if many top laners really get this, but normally if I'm going into, oh, he's gonna fuck that off, isn't he? Oh! Oh, I don't know if that was a mean play, but he got it right, so whatever. If Trinomir kills it, I'm coming here. Down. 
I have my Triforce, so I'm on my power spike. Use your Rift Herald. So we can get this tower right now. I'm gonna use my Sheen proc to get it, just to get it faster. Now I'm going top. Because that tower was already done, it's below half, the Rift Herald will finish that off. Now I'm going top to try and defend this tower. What I want to do is not give Trinomir any advantages, right? So if he gets, if he doesn't get this tower, um, if he doesn't get it, oh, no, I don't know, he can't get it right now. So if he doesn't get the tower, he doesn't get any gold, right? And then it just gives me a bit more uh, time to, to keep him shut down. Oh, I missed that. So he's had to run. I'm not going to let him... Oh, should I? Nah, I can't TP there. Where it's going. So now I'm just going to go top. Oh, sh maybe I should have TP'd there. Diana's going. Oh, Diana's mid. I was trying to shove this in as far as I can. So Jin, okay, everyone's bot. Diana might be coming up here. Get that ward there. Trinomir is here. I'm not sure if he had flash or not, but I just decided to go ham and balls deep for it. Uh, I should back off. I don't know where Dinah is. Oh, here Fuck, found her. God damn it. Yeah, I had a feeling she was coming up. I should have just backed off straight away. Uh, I don't know. I probably shouldn't have just gone. I shouldn't have gone for the Trinomir. Probably. But see, I bought Trino. I had Trinomir and uh, Diana top, so my team got a tower off that. They could probably get Dragon. I gotta work out what build I want to go for next. So I want to go for like a Bork for split pushing, or do I want to go for a Wit's End? I love Wit's End so much, and we're full AD. Would that work? I might do it. Wit's End. I'm gonna go Wit's End. It could work. See, so, I mean, it gives you 40% attack speed, 40% 40 magic resist, um, and it gives the magic damage on hit, right? So I, I think it's quite good. It's just one of those situations where we're full AD and we need some sort of magic damage because the Jax can just go this item, uh, the this Blood Razor and the, with the Tiamat and the Triforce and then just go full like uh, armor, right? Diana full armor. So if I got a bit of magic resist, oh sorry, and magic damage on the team, uh, I don't know. Uh, it's, I guess it's just a, it's just a cheap uh, like Blade of the Rune King um, <laughs> to excel my build really. So I'm just gonna give it a go anyway. I'll 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 be able to kill the Trinomir um, for at least like another sort of ten minutes um, until he gets maybe three items. Then I'll then I'll start struggling against him. I think. So what I'm gonna do is just keep pushing down here. Diana's here, so that means only Trinomir's here. Uh, I haven't seen Jack. Jack's just died. That's right. So I'm just gonna push this as much as I can. All I want, it's just about pressure, right? So I'm just trying to pressure. Got him. See, with Trinomir, if he doesn't use his ult fast enough, you can actually kill him, because a lot of Trinomirs will try and wait till you queue in and then ult, right? Um, so if you can get that good burst on them, like I have pretty good burst, because I have my Triforce and I'm so far ahead of him. So if you get that good burst on, you can actually kill them before they even uh, think to ult. You know, because they still have to press R. I mean, it's if they do press R, you know, you you, you can be in a pretty bad spot, but they still have to um, actually press R and you know process that that action, right? So you can surprise them, uh, you know, by getting that Q burst off at the end of your combo. Where's this Jax? Is he here? Just get a bit of damage on pressure. Uh, we should go. Oh, I didn't even get that. Oh, it's just not working. Oh, I landed. Okay, I'm going. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm going. Just get some vision of them. Okay. Now I'm going to back. I got my wits in now. Um, and you, if we look at the their team, right, so... I mean, she's got her armor. Jax will get armor eventually. 
I know that for a fact. What I don't do now is actually go into Titanic Hydra. I will get a Titanic Hydra. I think I need the... Since I've got my Ninja Tabi and my Boots End, I think the next thing I need is health. And I will get health. Pick my team that I'm coming here. <clears throat> I was thinking about TPing, but he can't... He can't get this. He's only got... He's only got attack speed. He can't... He can't actually... Is he gonna go for him? He flashed. We're we gonna chase this like an idiot. I want to try and kill him as soon as possible, right? So that's why I just started using my ult because uh, it was coming to the end of his ult. So I wanted to make sure that I could kill him um, before he was able to get on that war wreck again. Diana's down here. Uh, can I see people? Oh no, Zed's down there. They'll be alright. Now, what I want to do is uh, stop going top. I want to go mid and, and get, get to bot as well. Um, put a bit more pressure on the map in different areas because we've already got two top towers. We don't... Oh, fuck. I got seen. Damn it. Uh, okay, the vision's off me now. So now, now we'll start going to mid lane. So I start moving to mid lane after... Oh, shit. I didn't get that. I start moving to mid lane after the vision has worn off. Uh, no, actually we can't. I wonder if Brand will bother coming into the jungle somewhere. Holy shit! Okay, we can get this now. Just use my W for a sheen proc, that's the only reason I use it. Now we back off. Warwick going top? Okay. He should have top. Oh god, he's not going to stop it. We can push him in. Because they got two guys. Okay, he got it. Nice. They surrendered. We actually won that. Wow. G fucking G. I actually won a live game commentary. I don't believe it. Oh man, what a game. So yeah, as you can see that the Ignite Tronomir didn't pay off for that guy. I mean, at level two, he, he was right to all in me. Um, I think, yeah, I think he was right to all in me with the Ignite and the Storm Raiders. Storm Raiders is quite questionable. Like, I, I never really. I, I think Fervor's. I feel like Fervor's a bit. I don't know. But I'm not a Trendomir player, so I don't really know. But luckily, since he, since I was able to get under my tower, and then we both flashed, and then he uh, took the. Oh, excuse me. The, took the two tower orders. That really fucked him up because then I was able to uh, freeze the lane for a bit, and let the let the minions push to me and make him lose a lot and get an early lead. So then I was able to one v one him through most of the game, and then just. Uh, keep keep getting making my lead bigger and bigger getting both of the towers and then roaming with my team a little bit and then eventually you know finishing the game so yeah that's uh that's the end of that video guys i hope you enjoyed that and uh i hope you like my live game commentary let me know if you like it and um uh yeah i'll be able to do them again uh, i'm slowly getting better at it you know as you do something more and more you get better at it so uh we'll see how we go i'll keep doing live game commentaries as long as uh i'm able to concentrate when i'm playing but yeah, um, hopefully you liked that video guys, give it a like if you liked it, and subscribe if you want more content like this, and I'll catch you guys on my next video. Yeah. Yeah.